cleaning your microwave. How many of you have a microwave that looks like this? And if you turn it on, it opens up here. What does this do? All this sucks up, sucks in, I don't know, filters. It's a filter of sorts. How many of you have ever looked inside? Ew, that's so gross. That's really, 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 really disgusting. Okay, so I'm going to make an attempt to clean this. And because I can't record myself and clean at the same time, I'm going to pause this video now. These are my tools of cleaning. I have a brush. I love to use brushes all sorts and this is something that I would not use on my food at all at this point. Initially it's like a basting brush but I don't use this for basting. I just use it to get into cracks. So I'm going to use this. Trusty ammonia because ammonia cuts through grease. The only problem with ammonia is that it does have a very strong smell and it's not good for you, so don't breathe while you're using it. Or you can wear a mask. But if you're like me, you won't wear a mask and try not to breathe. Don't worry, you're, you will react to it and you won't want to breathe it. A little glass dish so you can put some ammonia in here and dip. And a rag. This is a disgusting old rag that I use for cleaning disgusting things. So if it gets really, really gross with all that grease, no problem. Toss it away. I get these at the Dollar Tree. So I get like five of them and it's a pretty good deal. So you can get it at your dollar store. All right. So I'm going to pause it again so I can get all of this stuff ready to go. So I have the ammonia in here and I have dipped the brush into the ammonia and I'm just gonna lightly wipe it wipe it wipe it some more get it in there as you can see the grease is starting to disintegrate Okay, I'm going to pause it one more time because now I have to go get the towel. I'm wetting the towel. And then I'm going to go and wipe this. Ugh. Look at that. I just learned something new. I can bring this down even more. Ew. Oh, I just thought of something else I can use to get into there. My fingers are too big to fit into there, so I just thought of something else. I'll be right back. Okay, Q-tips. So dip the Q-tip in the ammonia and then bring it back over here and really get into it. Oh, yeah. And you're thinking, why do I have to do this? I just don't really like seeing this crud, knowing that I live in crud like this. It's around. These are the things you don't see and you don't ever think about. Nobody ever thinks about it. But I do, especially when I see it. I can't unsee it. Once I see it, I cannot unsee it. I'm dipping this a little bit more into the ammonia and just wiping some more and actually I think I'm going to dip the brush
brush again. Ew, gross. Yeah, that's what happens. Yuck. And get it in there. Get it in there. It really breaks down the grease. Oh, and I'm cleaning up here too, because up here it's close to. Oh yeah, get that crud right out. Okay, because this is really hard to do with only one hand, I think you get the gist of it. Look at that. Before and after. Really good. Before and after. There you go. All right, so that's it for today. Again, Lolly 101, adulting, what they don't teach you and they're not going to teach you in high school is how to clean the guck out of your microwave vents. Not all microwaves are like this. The cheapo depot ones don't have it, but this is obviously not a cheapo depot one. This is a more expensive one. It's a Space Maker X something General Electric. So, okie dokie. Have a good one. Bye. Oh yeah, I love my new sign. It's a good day to have a good day. Just remember that. It's a good day to have a good day. Alright, so I'm going to go have a good day after I finish cleaning the gunk off of this. Bye bye. Till the next time.